Good evening and salam ibu pertiwiku. You're now watching the latest state news on TV Sarawak. The public is advised to use alternative routes to avoid traffic congestion following the closure of several roads in conjunction with the 2019 Malaysia Day celebration at Padang Merdeka on September 16. Among the routes to be closed are Jalan Gambir, Jalan Gambir Detour to Main Bazaar, Jalan Wawasan, Jalan Main Bazaar from Jalan Lebuh Wayang, Road to Jalan Lebuh Wayang from Jalan Ban Hock, Jalan McDougall from Jalan Bang Hock, and the RTM traffic light to Padang Merdeka. Jalan McDougall was closed on September 5th and will remain closed until September 18. Kuching District Police Chief Assistant Commissioner Awang Din Awangani advised the public to plan their travels if they have business in the affected areas. Orang awam yang datang dari arah belakang Ben Hock dinasihati untuk tidak masuki Jalan McDougall. Sebaliknya terus menggunakan Jalan Lebuh Wayang kecuali mereka yang ingin menuju ke Gereja St. Thomas, uh, St. Mary, SMK St. Mary dan St. Mary School. Eh. Bolehlah menggunakan Jalan McDougall dan terus dan membuat pusingan U lah di laluan tersebut yang telah ditetapkan sehingga 16 September jam 4 petang sahaja selepas itu jalan itu akan ditutup eh. In this regard, he also advised people who would like to attend the event to use public transport such as buses, taxis, grab, my car and so on In addition, the public is not allowed to park on the shoulders of the road near the event area Actions will be taken against any civilians who disobey police officers on duty. The primary school assessment UPSR exams will continue tomorrow if the state's air pollution index API reading does not reach 300. State Education Department JPN Director Dr. Azha Ahmad said if the API reading reaches 300, they would leave it to the Ministry of Education to decide whether the UPSR would be delayed or not. He added that all schools affected by the haze with readings above 200 should be closed, but the decision will be decided by the respective principal or headmaster of schools based on a daily reading of the API at 6 p.m. In addition, the Sirawa NRD has also directed and alerted all district education officers and schools to comply with the standard operating procedures regarding haze. The Energy, Science, Technology, Environment and Climate Change Ministry today said the haze situation in Sarawak is expected to improve once the monsoon wind direction changes at the end of September. Despite the efforts of the government to tackle the worsening air quality, the ministry said the fires in Indonesia could cause the haze to return after the rain. It added the ministry was working with the Foreign Affairs Ministry to send diplomatic notes to the Indonesian government on the urgency to put out the fires. The ministry also said the government would use all diplomatic channels to urge the Indonesian government to act on the haze. Well, that's all the English news updates for today. Thanks for watching. I am Razi Ahmad for TV Sarawak, signing off.